everybody, good buddy Gary here with more Meryl and August. Last we left off, we were in a car with these two fucks after getting our treasure. Hopefully that was the right thing to do. Let's, uh, <laughs> As I opened my eyes, I noticed I was upside down and was some on something moving enough to give me nausea. Oh, great. August, looks like your little catch is about to puke all over the new carriage. I could see two men at the front of the carriage. Guiding the horses. All around me were unconscious bodies of bandits. Um, excuse me. I think there's been a mistake. Why is she even awake? August, what if I told you about going easy on your targets? But, but she didn't look like she belonged to the jerks. Clan member or no, she's still a thief and she should be treated the same punishment as the others. Excuse me. Two men look back at me. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. I'm not a thief. The older man burst out into laughter while August, the younger looking one, simply turned back to the road. Toward the road. Road? They can at least pretend to believe me. No, really, I'm not a thief. I'm... I'm an adventurer. Do you have verification? I'm... An adventurer in training. That just made the older man laugh even harder, Red. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. So you're an adventurer in training. Alright, Miss Adventurer. We still have to take you for thievery. Them's the rules. But I didn't steal anything! You were in their stash room, hiding yourself amongst the bags of gold. No, no, no! I wasn't after their gold or whatever! I was after their treasure! Look, I don't care what you call it, it's still illegal! Who ever heard of an adventurer getting arrested for finding treasure? What the nerve is some people? But, but, but! No, but! I shut up and glared angrily at the two men driving the carriage. From their clothes, I could tell they were some sort of official knights. What is Mom going to think when she has to come get me from jail? It was more of a whisper to myself, but August must have heard me. He turns back with a worried expression on my face. There's no sign of an icy glare from moments ago. Your mom. Does she know that you're out here stealing from thieves? August, you're doing it again. The reason. This is the reason why they sent you out here in the first place. I know, Gregor. I know. The older man, Gregor, just sighed. It's not much further to town. Let's figure out what to do with her when we get there. Huh? There was a pause between the two men. Gregor sighed. <sighs> I think your bleeding heart is rubbing off on me. I don't think this girl's part of the Dirks. She's way too young and lively. You can deal with her when we get to town. I'll see the I'll see to the other men getting behind bars. Blah, blah, blah. Was I not going to jail? Sweet! Oh happy day! Clue clay! Oh thank you, sir, thank you! Hey, uh, you don't have to thank me just yet. I could easily just change my mind, you know? I settled back down and waited for the carriage to get to town. We eventually arrived at a small village. I was sitting outside watching Gregor haul the, ba the bandits into the town prison one by one. August was doing his best to bring out the large bags of gold they had confiscated from the hideout to the town. He kept tripping over his feet and I tried my hardest not to laugh at him. Blech. What? Oh, it's nothing. He just shot me a look and con continued carrying one of the particularly large bag. A few steps later, he tricked over a rock and jewels in a conspicuous treasure box came tumbling out. My map started to glow and pointed towards the box. Hey, that's my box! I walked over and picked the box up. Hmm, locked. It was clearly old, with tons of weird looking esoteric symbols wrapping around the sides. I shook the box. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Yep, something was definitely in it. Do you want to go to jail? We told you to sit still and be quiet. Follow orders and go back. He snatched the box out of my hand and put it back into the bag and began to walk off again. Not a second later, he tripped and went face first down into the dirt. Ouch. Are you sure you don't need help with any of that? <laughs> what? No. Back off. Gregor walked up behind me, apparently finished with jailing the thieves. 
Hasn't changed at all. Sticking to his original plan even when it doesn't work. What do you mean? Hmm? No, oh, just talking to myself. That was odd. The more I've observed Gregor and August, the more it dawned on me that August wasn't just Gregor's disciple. Is August your son? What? No. Oh. Do I look that old? Uh, of course not. Sure, let's go with that. I just noticed you two don't exactly have a master-apprentice relationship. Gregor gave me an odd look. Why are you so interested, Miss Adventurer? Eh? Uh, uh, I don't know. He didn't say anything for a while. His face turned dark. Let me give you one warning. If you touch a single hair on his head... Then he made a motion that could mean terrible things. Probably a thumb across the neck or something, or punching a fist into a hand. You know, those kind of things. I gulped. Oh, uh, okay. Sure, let's go with that. I turned back and watched August move the last bag of the treasure into the town hall. Who were these people, really? What I stumbled across? A few minutes later. And who is this? Gregor, August, and I were huddled inside the tiny town hall with the rest of the treasure all around us. Gregor and August were going through the bags, counting just wood found and trying to identify its original owners. Which proves she's definitely Madame Brittany's. She was making such a fuss about it at the last ball. Oh, oh, yes, that's the girl we found in the Dirk's hideout. And why is she here? Guards, arrest her at once! Wait, wait! She's not one of the Dirks. She just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Captain Gregor, what have you been doing? The Dirks shouldn't be underestimated. I'm quite aware of the situation, Maya. Do not worry, she really isn't one of the Dirks. I made sure to check. Shiver right up my spine. Check what exactly? So it appears most of the stolen jewelry is here. That's fantastic. But there's only one thing. This box won't open. August had picked up the treasure box I've been trying to get it this whole time. No matter how hard I hit it, it won't crack. Let me see. Hopefully you haven't been skipping out on your training, have you? It's one thing to have a soft heart, but soft arms? Really? <laughs> August scoffed, clearly offended. I'd be too if people kept talking about my shortcomings so openly. I felt like it was back in the classroom, the teacher holding up someone's test, telling the class just exactly how that student had failed to perform. I couldn't help but feel bad for August, even if he hadn't been exactly courteous to me this whole time. Huh. I can't exactly open it either. But... See, it's not just me! Now how do you know I haven't been skipping on out on any of my training? Gregor ignored him. He happened to be looking inquisitively at the top of the box. There's some sort of inscription here at the top. It's in an ancient tongue. That piqued my curiosity. I wonder what the language I'd learned in school. I took a peek. To those that hold my spoon have frightened, uh, something, something, something. Here sleeps the treasure of Light Taker. It reads. To those that hold the key, have fright. For only words who will open the squared path which sleeps the golds of Starcatcher. Eh, close enough. So, uh, is that supposed to mean anything? We were all silent for a moment. Merle, I need to see that treasure map you have in your bag. What? How do you know I have a treasure map? I searched your belongings when you were out. I had to make sure you were really a dark member, you know? Don't worry. I threw out that half-eaten turkey sandwich. It was starting to rot anyway. What? Why? But but my mom made me that sandwich! Gregor gestured for me to open my bag. Ooh, begrudgingly, I pulled it out and handed it to him. He immediately began studying it. Huh? What's this? August picked up a piece of paper that had fallen out of my backpack. Began to read it. Next thing I knew, he was crying. Mom! It, it's so beautiful! Huh? You can tell she really loves you! What a beautiful mother-daughter relationship! I'm gonna cry! This is beautiful! Oh my god, August. Hold, hold yourself together. No! My bleeding heart bleeds tears of joy for this! Oh my god. Oh, please no! My mom's very well. It just must, my, must have fallen out of the bag when he pulled out the map. Now August is reading it! Oh no! Sweet, isn't it? A little too sappy for my own taste, but yeah. 
It's good to know that there are moms that are still sweet in their kids out there. August was doing August was doing his best to try to hide his tears, but it only made it more obvious. I love love so much. Yeah. Take a st step back there, August. Sorry. He handed the note back to me, and I quickly stashed it back into my bag. Hopefully, where it wouldn't fall out again. Ahem. Now that we're past that episode. Well, I think I might have figured out how to open the treasure chest. See here? There are buttons all around the chest, each with a different letter on them. This is the square path the inscription was talking about. And the words needed to open the chest, here on your map, the Earth, Heaven, Stars. We just have to spell out these words and I'm sure the chest will open. We're all silent for a moment as Gregor patiently pressed the buttons in order. And all of a sudden, the treasure just opened, and I was almost blinded by the sparkling gold jewelry and gold. These... These have been missing for a hundred years! Really? This brooch, this necklace, they were stolen a hundred years ago from the royal family. No one knew where they weren't, until today! Hooray! Mm. So the the legend of the star catcher was true. What? Star catcher, a master thief. Stole a lot of royal jewelry hundred years ago, or as the stories goes, they were presumably lost. Until now. Miss Adventurer, how exactly did you come across that map of yours? What are you getting at? That map? It had the location of the Starcatcher's treasure and even had the combination on how to open it. And you just happened to have it. He gave me a suspicious look. Would you care to explain? He put a hand on his sword. I gulped. Was... was he going to kill me? M my mom gave it to me! She said she had it when she was a little girl! I don't know anything else! There was a pause. Well, I believe her. What? Mark! Hold on a minute, Mayor. August, please explain to me why you come to such a conclusion. Well... August looked at me. This might sound stupid, but what kind of bad person carries a loving letter from their mother around with them? Huh? Gregor laughed. I swear, going with your gut reaction isn't always the best course of action, you know. But in this instance, I can't say I disagree with you. I think it might be because she's so... pitiful. Hey! I looked at August. He was trusting me just because I had a letter from my mom? Couldn't help but think that was a dumb idea. Then again, it didn't land by ass in jail, so I best not look a gift horse in the mouth. But looking around that room, I guess it maybe was a good thing he was trusting me after all. Well, this is a, certainly a surprising turn of events. You didn't say that again, bucko. Why did you call me? Nothing! I suggest we inform your sister, August. Something is afoot here, and it'd be best if we canceled this little probation of yours and turned back. What? But we just started! We can't go back now! I haven't... I haven't... Probation? What was Gregor talking about? Maybe they'll be lenient in giving you a sec... Your third chance? Agus's face is growing paler and paler. You know they won't, Gregor. You know they won't. He walked out of the room with a sad expression on his face. <sighs> I feel like I've done terrible things to that boy. Um, Gregor? What's this probation you're talking about? Is August okay? Gregor just looked at me. I'm afraid I'm not in any position to say anything else, Miss Thief. Adventurer! Huh? I'm an adventurer, not a thief. Uh, right. A cloud seemed to have fallen over Gregor's face, too. He wasn't in the mood to talk, so I decided to drop the subject. Topic, whatever. I turned my attention back to the other bags of treasure in the room. So all this stuff, belong, this belonged to other people? Yeah, the Dirks, those scary people you ran into back there. They had been stealing things from balls and festivals back in the capital. Oh. And then their victims came to us and complained and complained and complained. I see. So here we are. It's not a terribly tough job. Thankfully, the Dirks are currently scattered enough to not realize we're targe targeting their dens, and they're not really as strong as they used to be. <laughs> this is the third one we've sacked, and we've caught them with their pants down. 
I couldn't say I remember any pantsless thieves being brought into the prison. It's a turn of phrase. So that's what you and August were doing? Going around acting as the police force and rounding up criminals? Gregor pulled something out of his pocket and showed me. Gregor Svitskin. Svik. Svixen. Gregor Svixen. World Captain. World Guard Captain. At your service. A Royal Guard? Holy shit. It's a good thing I'm only swearing on my head. You're from the Royal Guard? Ah, uh, Jesus. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, is August one too? August. He's just a private. New to the guards. Oh, I see. Wait. So he's both of you are from the capital? Oh, man. I've always wanted to go there. Will you take me with you? All of a sudden, Gregor picked me up by the back of my dress and began to carry me out of the building like a wet cat. Well, not today, Miss Adventurer. The only place you're going is home. Your mother. Does she really know just exactly what trouble you've gotten yourself into? I don't know. You read her letter. You tell me. He scoffed and dropped me. Like a sack of potatoes. Ugh. I hit the ground with a thud. Do you have to be so rough with her, Gregor? August suddenly appeared. From the reins in his hands and the bags at his feet, it looked like he was in the middle of getting the carriage ready. I was showing her the life on the road isn't all roses and sunshine, and that's why she should go home. You are trying to guilt me into going back home by using my mother as an excuse. I know you were trying to. She's the one who let me go on this journey in the first place. Well, your mother is a fool. Does she know that you could be killed out here? Gregor! What, August? Take that back! You have no right to be so rude to her mother! August, we're not doing this. Not now. Then take it back. You're doing it again. You're doing the same damn thing you always do! Gregor's voice grew louder and louder. You think the best of everyone you meet, August. That is not a good thing. You need to learn that for you, no one is innocent. You've had people killed, all for being a stupid, naive boy. I had to turn away. Gregor's voice was reaching a volume I couldn't stand. Gregor, stop! I will not. I've drilled this into your head a thousand times. And even if it takes an eternity, I will give you this same lesson a million more times. Lower your voice! You're frightening her! Apparently, August noticed my change. What? You're scaring her! Well, good! He turned to me and began to direct that horrible, angry voice in my direction. You should be scared! There are terrible things out here. Things even your mother doesn't know about. I was trying my hardest to keep a straight face, but my eyes began to water. I felt embarrassed. I didn't want to cry now. I only really just started on this journey, and here I was, getting yelled at by the captain of the Royal Guard for doing what exactly? Captain Gregor Svitskin! August's voice only cut through Gregor's with a heavy, commanding force. August, don't. Leave. August, you're making a mistake. That was a command, Gregor. Gregor shook his head with a scowl and then walked off. After his outburst of leadership, August seemed to be puzzled. I'm uh, sorry about that. I don't usually act like that. He doesn't either. Well, at least to other people. I mean, I'm used to it, but he's usually at least kinder to people he doesn't know as well. His face was pained. Oh, it's alright. I wasn't all upset. I'm a big grave girl. It's just been a long time since I've had been I've been yelled at like that. August looked up at me. It sounds like you don't exactly have a dad like Gregor, huh? Well, my parents are divorced, so. Oh, oh shit! I'm sorry. Uh, 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 uh I'm sorry. It's okay. It was a while ago, anyway. Shrugs. He was quiet. Wait. August was being nice all of a sudden. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a moment here. You're not going to tell me to go back home, are you? Uh, uh, well, uh, I mean, you probably should. No! I made it all the way out here! I'm not going back! 
August didn't say anything to that for a while. Seemed like he was thinking something over. Why don't you want to go back, Meryl? Did something happen? I began to pick at a blade of grass, hoping to hide my embarrassment. And, well, you know... Actually, I don't. That's why I'm asking you. Mm, okay, I guess. I flunked. I kind of flunked all of my classes. August's eyes grew wide at the word flunk. Oh. So you're, uh, you're on probation? Probation? Dad, more like taking a year off before I have to go back and do all the same work again. Hmm. It seemed like he was thinking about something. What? It's just that... Kinda in the same boat. I guess you can say I had a couple, uh... A lot of tests, and I completely bombed them all. Greg, as words of August, it's suddenly having killed Flash but into my mind. I wonder what sort of tests he was talking about. So you're taking a year off, too? Kind of. I don't have the option of dropping out, though. So consider this my intense year of studying to pass those tests I failed before. <laughs> I see. An awkward silence fell between us. So, Gregor is... He's my tutor. He's a great man, and I feel like I've already learned a lot from him. Even though sometimes his teaching methods can be a little... mixed gesture. Oh. Heavy-handed. I knew teachers like that in school. I couldn't say they used to my favorite teaching technique, but it looked like August benefited from it, at least. A captain of the Royal Guard is your personal tutor? He told you, did he? He sure does love showing a badge of his. He's only worked hard enough for it. Maybe tutor is the wrong word for it. He's kind of my boss at the moment. He used to be my tutor, though. He taught me swordsmanship. August took a dagger out of his pot and began to play with it. I could tell it was pretty good. Though I'm sure I studied less swordsmanship from him, probably I, should, I probably wouldn't be standing here. I looked at him oddly. What do you mean? I, uh... I, I kind of really liked learning swordsmanship, so I studied that a lot, and nothing else. Ah, gotcha. I guess. Yeah? Why are you being so nice to me all of a sudden? It was odd. I just met him, yet he had stuck up for me. I couldn't help that he had some sort of ulterior motive. I don't know. I guess I can kind of see a little bit of myself in you. We're all failures at heart, I guess. No, that doesn't really explain it, does it? What is Gregor keeps telling me? Ah, yes. I'm supposed I'm just a nice, stupid, naive boy, and as he so eloquently puts it. We should probably get back on the road. We have a long distance to travel if we want to get back to the capital. Does... Does that mean... Ugh, I shouldn't be doing this. I don't need Gregor here to tell me this is a bad idea. Look, okay, I'm going into responsibility mode. I can't just let you go off on your own, right? Some of the Dirks might have gotten away and might target you later for retribution. The only people that had seen me in the cave was the treasure room guard, whom August attacked with the ground and currently sitting behind bars, and August himself. I didn't want to stop him in the middle of his speech, though. And, and, I'm sure your mom is at least worried about you, no matter if she let you go or not. So... Yeah? So we're taking you back home. August just turned around and began to walk off. And he was being so nice earlier! Eh. I ran after him, hoping to change his mind. This is my only chance! My only chance to go out and see the world! I'm just beginning my journey, you're really gonna just drop me off on my own doorstep? What kind of adventure is that? Oh, I got arrested and brought back home! What an exciting tale! August kept walking, trying to avoid eye contact with me. I wasn't getting through to him! I need to think of something fast. My great adventure was going to get cut tragically short. What can I say to him? Shit, I have not saved. Uh. Oh god, it could be either! Nay. August! I had to remember just the thing. He turned back to look at me. His eyes went wide and he saw what I was holding in my hand the treasure map. Surely you didn't forget about this, did you? I flapped around the air for added emphasis. <laughs> what about it? We found the treasure, didn't we? Oh, sure, we found one of them. 
But what of the rest? He gave me a quizzical look. There's more? I let her laugh, hoping to show him I was confident in myself. Of course, look closer, see? Walkus looked over. I pointed at a part of the map that was shining slightly. That looks like... Hmm. That's the rough mountains there. Oh, the sad... Sajikit... I can't words right now. It's okay. The Sajikit Swamp. That's not all that far from here. It's perfect, right? We should go there next, instead of taking me back home. His face clouded. Miss Adventurer. It's Meryl. Huh? My name. It's Meryl. Oh, well, then, Meryl, I would love to go and find this next treasure of yours. He hadn't taken his eyes off the map than the moment I had it brought it out. But I'm afraid that thieves and assassins rank a little higher on the priority list than treasure. What about royal treasure? Treasure that's been lost for a hundred years! I guess quickly turned away from me. The expression on his face obviously showing that he wasn't doing everything to not give into the temptation of my plan. Treasure! Treasure, August! No! Oh, come on! I'm sorry, Meryl. If this was any other time... You just really need to go home. But August... He didn't want to talk about any more of the subject. He continued walking back to the car carriage. My time was running out to convince him, and every second that passed, I could feel my options dwindling. August! Could you please stop yelling my name? I'm, no I'm not all that far away, you know. Uh, sorry. No, but August, I just... Hmm. He was running out of patience. You said now is not a good time. When would be a good time, then, for my adventure? Hmm. Good question. I don't know. Maybe in a year? After everything is settled down out here. What do you mean? Ahem. You guys having dialogue without me? Rude. Vicar, it appeared out of nowhere. August, we should get moving. Load the last of the bags and we'll get going. Hey, wait! August and I were in the middle of a conversation here! Nah, and now it's over. The sun's setting. We have a long way ahead of us. Now, if you'd be so kind, Miss Adventurer, get in the carriage. He pushed me in the direction of the carriage. The August, August left to go get the last of the bags. The conversation had ended. Hmm. My future was decided. Or was it? I glanced down at my treasure map and clenched between my hands. It was my beacon of hope at the very least. Maybe now wasn't the right time. As August said, that things would be better in a year, whatever that means. And I could go get entry again. I wonder what Mom would think about that plan. I climbed back in the carriage. August sitting at the front of the Gregor, signal off the horses to move forward. The carriage lurched and with unpained screech, and away we went. I felt somewhat hollow inside, knowing my adventure over. But the treasure map in my hands, that was my hope for the future. No matter how many times I repeated the words in my head, it never rang true. A couple hours later, they stopped in a carriage in front of an old tavern. What are we stopping here for? Just a quick lunch break. Yeah, they have great blueberry pie. They have what? Nothing. They have great blueberry pies here. I really wanted to get one. Uh, they're tasty. Love you guys. <laughs> August jumped off the front of the ca carriage and walked off. Half, half walked, half ran to the cavern. I'm getting me some pie! Calm. I'm getting me some pie. Good. Gregor cut it as well, but removed, refused to move until I followed him. I guess he was making sure I wasn't going to run off. What am I, their prisoner? Hello. Pretty people. As we entered the tavern, I noticed that we weren't the only patrons. Well, wow, they sure are busy. Yes, now sit at the table and I go order some food. Don't even think about sneaking out. Point. August. August here. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Right, August? August walked up with two slices of pie, one of which he was currently munching on. No! Mm -hmm. Oh, right! Whatever you said. I don't know what you said. I like pie. Obviously. Two of us sat at us at the only free table available. But our conversation at this will be served for next time. If August is pie. I don't know if I made a wrong choice, so I'm gonna save on the next spot. Yay. So next time, uh, we'll get to figure this shit out. Yay. So, have a good day, buddy. Bye. No, I'll